This is the FT Lab Smart Geiger. This small device attaches to your smartphone and turns it into something like a Geiger counter. It plugs into your phone's audio output jack. Unlike an actual Geiger counter, the FT Lab Smart Geiger does not use an actual Geiger Mueller tube. I believe the Smart Geiger uses a silicone device called a pin diode. Now this electronic device is sensitive to gamma rays and x-rays, so it gives your smartphone the ability to detect ionizing radiation, such as gamma and x-rays. Here are the specifications. It says it uh, measures gamma and x-rays. Now the instructions say to search the Play Store or App Store for FT Lab and locate the Smart Geiger app. It also says here to put your phone on airplane mode and do not touch the sensor while it is in use and also keep the sensor away from heat or chemicals and high temperature and humidity. Okay, after searching for FT Lab on the Play Store, I found Smart Geiger EX and I found a Smart Geiger Pro app. I don't believe I have the Pro, so it looks like I'll download the Smart Geiger EX because it looks like it has the same interface as the one shown on back of the packaging. It says here to connect the Smart Geiger. My audio jack is on the bottom. Calibrating. Please measure off the Wi-Fi and data networks. So after calibration, the unit is actually not turned on and it's showing 0 0.10 microsieverts per hour. Here's the sensor. I'm using uh, three sources of radiation to test the Smart Geiger. I tested these uh, with my GQ GMC 320 Plus Geiger counter in previous videos. I'll have links in the description below. This is americium 241. It emits uh, alpha particles and gamma rays. It's a very small sample, but it does produce uh, you know, a fair amount of radiation. Here are two uranium doped marbles. It emits a very small amount of radiation, which is beta and uh, gamma. Here's a piece of radioactive Fiesta dinnerware. And from what I read, it emits alpha, beta, and gamma. Let me know in the comments if you have more information on that. Okay, first up is the Emory SIM 241. I have the Smart Geiger here with the uh, app on, but it's not started yet. But I noticed every time you start it, even though there's no radiation source, it will detect something. I'm not sure if it's just a, a test sequence that it goes through. So it detects something after you start it, and then it just slowly goes down to 0 0.10. Okay, the Smart Geiger detects gamma and x-rays. I'm pretty sure that Amory CM241 emits alpha and gamma, so it should start detecting some gamma. I have the sensor right on top of it, and it does not appear to be detecting anything. And the reading is not going up. I'm wondering if this is actually working or not. I'm right on top of the sample. I'm not sure if this Smart Geiger is actually working or not. Okay, I'll leave that on. Let me get my actual Geiger counter.
Here's my uh, GQ GMC 320. It's at four counts per minute now. It usually goes up to maybe 20 counts per minute for my background radiation. It's not close to the americium-241, so it should not detect it. It is detecting something. So it is detecting gamma. And that's much higher than my background. So it did, it did detect some gamma rays, I believe. Let me put that aside. This thing is still not detecting any gamma. It's been running for over seven minutes. Let's try a different source. Okay, I have the uranium doped marbles here. Let's see if it detects anything. I'm right on top of it. Gamma should go right through the plastic. And it doesn't seem to be detecting anything. I wonder if I got a bad unit. The background is about 20 something CPM counts per minute. 20 something counts per minute. I'm going to bring it close to the uh, uranium doped marbles. The counts per minute is going up, so it is detecting probably uh, gamma. Maybe a little beta if it goes through the plastic, I'm not sure. I'm assuming the plastic will block the uh, some of the uh, beta. So I'll put this aside and it should go down to about uh, 20 something CPM for background. So I'm not detecting anything with the Smart Geiger with uranium doped marbles. I'll put this aside. I'm wondering if I'm not using it correctly or if I'm using the wrong app. It's still at 0 0.10 and the running time is about 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Let's try the Fiesta Wear. Okay, here's the uh, Fiesta Wear. I'm going to put it a little bit off camera so I can get the uh, phone in frame. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Smart Geiger. Right now it's uh, 0 0.10 microsieverts per hour. Running time is 11 minutes, 35 seconds. Oh, it looks like it is detecting radiation from the radioactive Fiesta wear.
Let's see how high it'll go. So I'm going to stop it right here. So all the uh, radiation is gamma that uh, the Smart Geiger is detecting. So the Smart Geiger does work. The presence of radiation needs to be, I guess, a good amount of gamma rays or X-rays. I guess a small amount of gamma and X-rays may not be detectable. So this is the FT Lab Smart Geiger. And from what I see here, the gamma source or x-ray source needs to be a fairly strong source before it will detect it. That's all I have for you today. I really appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a great day.